All in life that does not. That was a cat. The cat again. No, away you go. Hello everyone! I'm sorry I haven't been making many videos lately. I've just lost inspiration. But I'm back now, so don't forget to check back here every Wednesday for new videos. Let's get to it. This week, I wanted to give a little advice about how to be happy. Because we all go through hard times where we just, we're so down, we want to give up on everything, give up on life. I've been through those and today I've become such a happy, happy person. I thought I'd share my way of getting from this to this. So first off, if you want to be a happy person, you have to be surrounded by happy people. If you have someone in your life who just brings you down all the time, who always tries to be better than you, or anything that is not positive towards you, if there's anything at all in life that does not make you 100% happy, or at least 85% happy most of the time, it should not be in your life. Take the negative things and shove them out of your life. And that is how you will be happy. The second thing I do to be happy is I'm optimistic towards everything. Now you must think, yeah, okay, you're optimistic towards everything, as if it's too hard to be optimistic towards everything. It's not. In the beginning it may be harder because you're very negative, but as time goes on, you're gonna notice that everything is so much better when you look at it from a positive aspect. See the glass half full instead of half empty, and you will be a happier person. The third thing I do to stay happy is smile. I'm sure you've all seen things where it said, I smile but inside I'm hurting. But truthfully, the smile helps a lot. If you smile at something, you're just going to be happier. It just works like that, and it's good. Trust me, it actually works. When I'm mad or sad, I smile. I feel ridiculous, but I do. And eventually, I get happier. The fourth thing I did to be a happier person was rectify my confidence. This was not easy and I had to change a lot in my life, but I ended up embracing my flaws. Of course, not all of them, but most of them. I got more confident, I dressed the way I wanted to feel pretty. It just made me happier because when I'd look in the mirror, I just, I would be happy to see what I saw. I'd be genuinely proud of who I am and of what people see and that was just really good. For your confidence and your happiness, look at your flaws and find a good side to it. That's, that's on the optimistic point, but still, embrace your flaws because it's you and you're perfect. Or almost there because nobody's perfect, but you're, you're pretty awesome. And the last piece of advice I have for you today is do what makes you happy. And by do what makes you happy, I mean anything at all. Whether it's watching TV shows, or going out for a walk, or shopping, or my personal favorite, eating. Do it. Don't be ashamed to do what you love, because that's what makes you. And if you don't have that, then what do you have? Don't let others determine who you are and determine if you're happy or not. Stand up for yourself and be happy, guys! <laughs> What's the point in life if you're not happy? That's it for this week, guys. I really hope you liked it. Um, last week, I did a vlog and some people liked it, some people didn't like it as much. So, if ever I feel like making more, I will. But for the meantime, I would love to stick to these kinds of videos because I do like just expressing what I have to say. And to be honest, I like expressing myself, expressing what I have to say, just little thoughts that go through my mind. I have fries cooking at the moment to make myself a poutine. And if you don't know what a poutine is, uh, Google it because it is a Quebecois dish that 
If I actually describe it to you, you will find disgusting, but it's actually amazing. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and press the subscribe button if you haven't already. Namaste.